According to a notice in the local dailies by the Presidential Working Party on Education Reforms chairperson Rafael Munavu says the committee will begin receiving views from the public from Tuesday, November 1st, 2022 to Friday, November 11th, 2022. The session will be conducted from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. On the first day, the committee will conduct the exercise in Kwale, Taita Taveta, Marsabit, Nyandarwa, Trukana, Kiricho, Busi, Migori, Mandera and Samburu counties. On Thursday, November 3rd, 2022, the committee will collect views in Mombasa, Makueni, Nyeri, Elgeyo Marakwet, Bungoma, Nyamira and Homa Bay counties. The forums will continue on Friday, November 4th, 2022 in Isiolo, Wajia, and Lake Ipia counties. On Monday, November 7th, 2022, residents in Kilifi, Kitui, Kirenyaga, Bomet, Transoia, Kakamega and Kisi counties will have their opportunity before the committee proceeds to Meru, Garissa and Baringo counties on Tuesday, November 8th, 2022. The day after, Munavu and his team will engage relevant education stakeholders in Lamu, Embu, Moranga, West Pokot, Narok, Nandi and Siaya counties. Members of the public in Tana River, Machakos, Tarakaniti, Kiambu, Wasingishu, Kajiado, Vihiga, Kisumu, Nairobi and Nakuru counties will share their thoughts with the task force on Friday, November 11th, 2022. Ongoing implementation of the competency-based curriculum will see a double transition of learners to secondary schools in 2023. The pioneer CBC cohort currently in grade 6 and class 8 candidates are expected to sit the Kenya Primary School Education Assessment and the Kenya Certificate of Primary Examination respectively between November 28th and November 30th, 2022. This as the academic calendar will return to normalcy in 2023.